Here's a party trick you may have tried. Take a big balloon and rub it all over your jumper. Next, go stand in front of a mirror and hold the balloon just above your head. If your hair is nice and long like mine, it'll jump as if you've seen a ghost. Let's take the experiment a step further. This time, take two balloons and make sure each one has a piece of string attached. Rub both balloons on your jumper for a few seconds. Then, hold each one by the string and slowly bring them closer together. You'll notice the balloons can't seem to get close. They are repulsive to each other. What we observe here may look like magic, but it can be explained in scientific terms. It's a familiar example of a fundamental phenomenon in nature. The force between a balloon and your head, or the force that draws a lightning bolt to the ground, are known to scientists as electrostatic forces. Those are the subject of this video. To begin our exploration, we need to understand a couple of key words. The first is electric charge, which is a basic property of matter. The particles that make up ordinary matter may carry a positive charge, a negative charge, or no charge at all. Those with no charge are said to be electrically neutral. They do not generate electrostatic forces by themselves. Positively charged and negatively charged particles interact with each other in a few interesting ways. When two positive charges are placed side by side, they each experience an electrostatic force caused by the other particle. In this case, the forces push the particles further apart. The technical term for this is repulsion. Replace two positive charges with two negative charges, and the same thing happens. Therefore, we can state that repulsion occurs between two particles with the same charge. The electrostatic forces between them cause them to separate. What if the two particles have opposite charges? This would mean that one of them is positively charged and the other negatively charged. This time we observe the particles being pulled closer to each other. Instead of repulsion, they experience attraction through electrostatic forces. Based on this observation, we can state that particles with opposing charges attract each other. As it happens, the matter composing our universe is made up of particles, and some of them carry electrical charges. Every atom contains at least one proton and at least one electron. The simplest possible atom belongs to the element hydrogen. Protons carry a positive charge, while electrons carry a negative charge. Atoms larger than hydrogen also contain some number of neutrons, which are electrically neutral. They have no charge whatsoever, but they sit with the protons in the center of an atom. Electrons whiz around the outside, forming this familiar logo. All this means that ordinary matter is subject to electrostatic forces. Protons attract electrons, having opposite charges, whereas two protons or two electrons always force each other apart. Now we need to ask, how do these forces manifest on a larger human scale? Ordinarily, the objects around us are electrically neutral. This is because, although they contain electrically charged protons and electrons, the numbers of these particles are equal. Any forces they generate are balanced out, or simply too small to notice. In order to observe electrostatic forces in an object at this scale, we need to change its overall charge. For instance, consider a humble grooming device, a comb. When you brush your hair with the comb, you're actually moving charged particles around. The comb removes electrons from your hair and scalp, physically tearing them from their host atoms. This creates a charge imbalance. The comb becomes negatively charged overall, since it has picked up many negatively charged electrons. Your hair becomes positively charged overall, since having electrons taken away leaves it with a greater number of positively charged protons. For a short time, the comb can attract or repel other charged objects. However, it quickly returns to neutral, as those extra electrons jump back into your hair. 
Neutralization is the tendency for electrical charges to balance themselves out, since the electrostatic forces between opposing charges pull them back together. The same thing happens when you rub a balloon on your jumper. It strips away some electrons and gains an overall negative charge. When you rub two balloons in the same way, they both gain the same negative charge. According to the rules we have discussed, this means they should repel each other, and that's indeed what we saw at the beginning of this video. There's one more point we must acknowledge. I said earlier that neutrally charged objects carry no overall charge. However, that doesn't mean they never take part in electrostatic interactions. In fact, neutral objects can be attracted by either a positive or negative charge. This is why, after you rub a balloon on your jumper, the balloon pulls strands of your hair toward it. The hair was never rubbed, so it is still neutral, and yet the negatively charged balloon can attract it. It's possible to observe electrostatic forces on even larger scales. This requires some serious charge imbalance. Nature can accomplish this during certain extreme weather events, such as thunderstorms. Inside a thundercloud, the air is colder than the freezing point of water. For this reason, you can find many tiny pieces of ice. They are in fact frozen raindrops. They are constantly moving, and not all in the same direction. Some of them fall under their own weight, or are forced down by cold downdrafts. Other pieces are lifted up by fast-moving, warm updrafts. When you have solid particles being tossed in all different directions like this, you'll observe many collisions. The pieces of ice keep hitting each other at high speed. Those that move downward tend to act like the balloon or the comb we saw earlier. They knock electrons off the upward moving pieces, giving themselves an overall negative charge. As the collisions continue, a charge imbalance is created across the entire thundercloud. Although the cloud is neutral overall, it now has a high negative charge at its base, as well as a high positive charge at the top. Electrical charges begin to build up beneath the cloud as well. Positively charged particles in the ground are brought up to the surface, since they are attracted to the negatively charged base of the cloud. Over time, charged particles in the cloud are separated further and further. The attractive force between the cloud and the ground becomes stronger and stronger until... Eventually there comes a point where the charge imbalance is too high and neutralization takes place in the form of lightning. A lightning bolt is a stream of charged particles that is hot enough to turn sand into glass. The immense energy it carries lights up the night sky and creates a shockwave that we hear as thunder. It's the ultimate expression of an electrostatic force. That's about it for this presentation. More videos like this are on the way, so please subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out. Also, feel free to leave any questions, comments, or requests in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your studies.